you know the five senses, sight, smell, taste, sound, and touch. But do you know how they actually work? How do these sense organs pick up information from the surroundings and transmit it to our brains? All of the senses have something in common, sensory receptors. Sensory receptors detect changes in the environment. We'll look at four of the specialized receptor cell types, mechanoreceptors, chemoreceptors, thermoreceptors, and photoreceptors. Mechanoreceptors respond to forces and movements. Chemoreceptors respond to chemical substances. Thermoreceptors respond to heat. And photoreceptors respond to light. Now let's see where these sensory receptors are put to work in our senses. Olfaction is our sense of smell. The olfactory bulbs of the brain are located on the other side of the skull bone from the nasal passage. When molecules enter our nasal passage, let's say a molecule of vanilla, the vanilla molecule will bind to an olfactory receptor in the nasal epithelium. The olfactory receptor is a type of chemoreceptor because it's activated by specific chemicals or groups of chemicals. The vanilla olfactory receptor is specific to just the vanilla molecule. Once activated, the olfactory receptor sends a signal through neurons to the olfactory bulb in the brain, and then it's sent to be processed in the olfactory cortex. Humans have about 400 different odorant receptors, which allows us to identify around a trillion different odors. But other animals like mice have a thousand different receptors, and by comparison, humans don't have a very sensitive sense of smell. Aquatic animals can also smell dissolved chemicals in water, just as we smell dissolved chemicals in the air. Gustation is our sense of taste. Within the taste buds on our tongues are many gustatory receptor cells with hairs that will bind to the molecules in food and send messages to our brains. Gustatory receptors, like olfactory receptors, are another type of chemoreceptor. Our sense of sight uses rods and cones as the main sensory receptor cells. Rods and cones are located in the retina of the eye, and they are types of photoreceptors. The rods allow you to see in dim light, and the cones detect color and bright light. Our sense of hearing uses complicated structures in the ear. Beyond an almost Rube Goldberg maze of membranes and tiny bones is a snail-like region called the cochlea. Deep in the cochlea are tiny hair cells, which are mechanoreceptors that register movement that's amplified from sound waves that enter the ear. Mechanoreceptors in the semicircular canals are also used to help with our sense of balance. In the skin are many types of receptors, including Merkel cells, which are mechanoreceptors that detect touch, and thermoreceptors, which can sense hot and cold. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.